So I remember pulling into my driveway one evening, turning off the engine, sitting there in silence. I had just gotten home after a long day of work and I knew it was time to go inside, but every bone in my body was resisting it. And I sat there in the car, gripping the cool leather steering wheel, and I contemplated driving away. I imagined being out on the open road, free from all responsibilities, free to do whatever I wanted without the constraints or demands of anyone else. But instead there I was, frustrated about a relationship that just wasn't working. You see, my girlfriend and I, we'd been living together for a few months and we'd recently hit a rough patch. And I had been feeling angry and frustrated and as I sat there, I was dreading the next argument. Things were great at first and we had amazing love and romance. The, the chemistry was off the charts and I was crazy about her. You know, I, would, I, would, I was driven to do everything that I could to make it work. I cooked dinner. I took care of the household. I did the yard work. I dreamed of having this peaceful, loving relationship and I was willing to do whatever it took to make that happen. I was even willing to make compromises. You know, she liked to go out more and I liked to stay home. But we'd end up going out to the movies or out to dinner, go out dancing, because I wanted us to be happy together. So I slowly started making compromises a little bit here, a little bit there. But as the months went by, I, I started to feel differently towards her. The love and the, the passion that I'd once felt towards her started turning into anger and resentment. Why was I the one that always had to make these sacrifices? Why did I always have to take on all the responsibilities? And why did I have to give in to the, what, what she wanted? I was really frustrated, but I, I didn't say anything. I, I didn't want to create conflict. Growing up, I saw my parents argue and fight. I saw the, the yelling and the shouting. I saw the tears flowing. And eventually, the deafening silence where you could feel the tension in the air. It was painful to see them fight, because as a kid, I didn't know how to process it. I, did, I couldn't handle it. And my parents ended up divorcing twice. And I knew for certain that my relationship was going to be different. I was going to be patient and kind and loving. I was going to do everything I could to make my relationship work. The strategy that I learned was that in order to avoid conflict, I needed to hold back to not react impulsively, but to think and process before responding. I learned that problems are not solved with yelling and shouting, so I did the opposite. I held back, I put on a smile, and I just let things go. Except I didn't. Inside of me, there was this storm building, this months of accumulated dis disappointment and frustration the anger that I'd suppressed for so long in the name of keeping the peace. It had built up to this point where I didn't, I felt my, like my life wasn't my own anymore. I wasn't doing the things that I wanted to do. I wasn't saying the things that I wanted to say. On the outside, I was this caring and loving gentleman, but on the inside, I felt like a tiger ready to burst out of its cage. I didn't understand how it gotten to this point. It started first as making small compromises here and there, but eventually turned into this entire life that I hardly even recognized. I found myself simply going through the motions day in and day out, numbing myself, slowly numbing myself to my, my deepest true desires. And so I sat there in front of my house, reviewing all of this and trying to figure it all, trying to figure it all out. Until I made the, until it finally clicked, I sat there and I realized, wait a minute, she's not doing these things to me. I am doing them to myself. I realized I was the one who was doing things her way instead of my way. 
I was the one who was holding back instead of saying the things I really wanted to say. And I was the one who was deciding to make all of those sacrifices. I realized that I'd gotten into this situation because I had silenced my own voice. I didn't express my true thoughts and feelings and chose instead to hold back to keep the peace. I realized that this wasn't just in my romantic relationship. I was also holding back in my career, not asking for the raise and promotion that I knew I deserved. I was tolerating boring, tedious work that, that just didn't inspire or excite me anymore. And as I dug into all the other areas of my life, I, I started to see what was really happening. It was like a veil was being lift, lifted up off my eyes and I was finally seeing the truth for what it was. It wasn't because of my girlfriend. It wasn't because of my job. It wasn't because of anybody else. It was because of me. Because I hadn't spoken my truth and because I had held back for so many years. I decided that moving forward, I was going to take back control of my own life. I started telling friends and family when I felt they'd crossed the line. I started saying the raw, unedited truth. Saying what bothered me, what I wanted, and what I really felt deep, deep inside. I also started taking chances at work, proposing new ideas. I started sharing my ideas more openly and talking about what I felt wasn't working and how we could do things better. And as I began setting, uh, and, I, and in my personal relationship, I began setting new boundaries with my girlfriend and having those difficult conversations rather than avoiding them. As I started making these changes in my life, I noticed things started to shift. My relationship stopped being so one-sided and started to feel more balanced. My family started respecting my time and energy more, and I finally felt like I was starting to get the respect I'd wanted for so long. I also started getting more respect and recognition at work, making more valuable contributions. I finally felt like I was making a real difference and eventually ended up getting a raise and a promotion out of it. In terms of my romantic relationship, my girlfriend and I decided to take some time apart. And after a few months on our own, we reconsidered how we could make it work between us. As we re-entered into each other's lives, it felt like a completely different relationship. One where I felt respected and heard and where it felt much more balanced between us. As all of this was happening, I started to feel a tremendous sense of freedom. I was finally free to, to say what I wanted and to stop pretending to be someone else. The funny thing was that I thought that once I, I started pushing back and setting boundaries with people, that my life would fall apart. I, I worried that I was gonna destroy my relationships and the, lose the people that I cared about most. But what I found was that by speaking my truth and being real with people, it actually made things better. I had less conflict with my friends and family. I became more successful in my career, taking on more responsibility and making more money. What I learned is that nobody's gonna respect you until you respect yourself. That true freedom means being able to, to speak your truth and say what's really on your mind instead of what everyone else wants you to hear, every, what everyone else wants to hear. And I also learned that we have the ability to draw a line in the sand and to decide what we're going to tolerate and what we won't. That life is so much better when we stop holding back. And I envision a future where we are, we are all free to express ourselves without holding back. To be true to ourselves instead of conforming to the status quo. So... If you're feeling stuck in a situation where you feel frustrated, where you're giving so much more than you're getting back, I want to tell you that there is a way out. You have the key to let yourself out of the cage, to unleash the fierceness of your voice and spirit. 
You have, the feel, you have the ability to get your freedom back and to live life on your terms. And no matter what, never stop believing in yourself. Never underestimate the power of your voice and never forget your ability to create real change. So take a chance and speak your truth. Because if you don't, then the world will never know who you really were.